friends. When I went to Ladakh, as uh, Mr. Sun said, that I went for art camp to paint there. And I was so taken aback by the enchanting beauty of Ladakh. Every day when I was there, I saw it in a different mood, you know. Every minute of the day, the colors of the mountain would change, the color of the river Sindhu would change, and uh, you would be, you know, we all know that our civilization comes from the Indus Valley. When you see that river, you know, you feel that you are connected to your own history, you are connected to your own self. Ladakh is a big connect between the universe and you. Personally, I did not, uh, the pictures of uh, people there, they have unique, distinct features and they look very beautiful and they make a very good picture also. But personally, I wanted to show the magnitude of the nature, where you can, when you reach Ladakh, it is a mystic land, you will directly connect with nature. That was the purpose. Basically, I'm an abstract painter, so I thought that we have enough movement everywhere. Uh, we have too many people, so let me uh, focus only on the mountains and the sky. Uh, I, as a painter, would uh, work on five elements, Kutti, Vayu, Jala, Kash, Adni. So I was trying to focus on that. We so have a mindset that these uh, Tibetan flags, prayer flags, uh, they are prayer to God. Actually, they are not. The flags are uh, invoking the five elements. Uh, that please bless us, please protect us from any ill which is happening, any evil which is around us. The prayers are not uh, written for, you know, uh, writing a prayer to God. It is basically invoking uh, all the five elements. We are made of five elements, but we tend to forget that. And only most of the time we take it for granted that we tell Bale and Pastor But it is not so. The mystery of Ladakh, you know, it's a small place. Uh, maybe geographically uh, very large, but at the same time population is very little. But it has so much to offer. Uh, at a, you know, it will awaken your spirit. Uh, my whole purpose of doing this, there are great photographers who would do better pictures than me. I have, I have no doubt about it. But my point of view was to show the abstraction, only the abstraction part of uh, the nature. You know, it's very unique. You know, when I was uh, photographing the sand, sand dunes, my friends they told me that we are going to move here. You know, most of the time you are lost, you are uh, doing the sand dunes and things like that. Uh, but I thought that you know, the majesty of the sand dunes, along with uh, snow at the same time, is unique, unique to Ladakh. The second time I went to do a, a story on Kukunas, then I again had the opportunity to do more photographs. I've done a documentary film as well on Ladakh. I think Ladakh is very good to my creativity. It has given me uh, enough work, you know, making a documentary, then writing a book, writing an article about Kukunas. Ladakh is very dear to me. In fact, I fell in love with Ladakh. And at a very spiritual level, also, it is a great connect. I would uh, request you people to have a look at the book, not uh, as a critical photograph, but as a painter's point of view. Uh, that is what I want to say. Thank you. Thank you, Sindhika. As we begin the singing of the year out of time, the next session is about to start. So, Ladakh, knowing the unknown by Sindhika Gupta. Thank you all very much.